Oh, don't do that. Don't do what? Nothing, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, it's all good. Are you covering for Victoria again? Hang on, is she still off? Woman flu. Didn't think it was supposed to last as long as man flu. Turns out it lasts longer. <laughs> you think you've got problems? At least you know where your staff are, flu or no flu. Well, hopefully I'll see you later, but if you do hear about anybody dying in the pub from chronic exhaustion, <laughs> that will be me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I might pop to the shop for some bits at lunchtime. Do you need anything? Mm. Nope, not since you last asked. What about well. you? Right. Well, I'll see you later then, yeah? Plenty of rest. What? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing got a name? That's Vic. I've, uh... I sent her a few messages and she's just not got back to me. Mate, if no one's answering, don't keep knocking. It's not just that, though, is it? Look, what happened? What happened? All I want is them banged up. The thing is, people get away with things all the time. You get fixed on getting justice, you'll never get past this. But listen, if you need anything from me, just ask. OK, good, cos I'm going to need a lift to the police station later. What? I've got the CCTV back. And yeah, I am fixed on getting justice. You have to wonder why the canned salmon community haven't caught up with the rest of the canned food community. No ring pulls. It's lazy. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of thing that keeps me up at night and all. That and women, I imagine. Have you heard anything from me yet? No. I keep calling, but uh, no, nothing. Do you want my advice? Mm, I'll be honest, not really. Forget all about her. I mean, she hasn't even given you a chance to say sorry, has she? No. All I want is... Closure. That's the word you're looking for. I'm afraid Maya was born stubborn. I mean, I don't know what's happened. I messed up. That's what's happened. And now she's at her mum's and she won't answer my calls. Worse than being done by text. You know, I think I might still have her mother's number. I can send it on to you later if you like, when I finish work. Yeah, thanks. She can't ignore me forever, can't she? Thanks for the update. I appreciate it. Yeah, bye-bye. Police. They found him? No. They've got a few leads they're pursuing. Well, everything crossed. Well, the police are looking for him. Nicola's promised a neighbourhood watch scheme, so things are actually happening. I mean, I, I don't feel safe. I just feel a bit safer. That's good. Great. No idea how hard this must be for you, knowing he's still alive. It's not about me now. It's everything about you, Dawn. Well, it's about you too. It's OK to wish he wasn't alive. After everything he's done, I get it. I don't wish that at all. It's just... I don't think he's even sunk in yet. There are so many questions. I'm just not sure I want the answers. No, it's OK, Mum. Billy's going to take me. Yes, I've taken my tablets. I'm fine. No, 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 no. You don't have to come home and check on me, seriously. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will. OK, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Surprised she hasn't met you chipped, following your movements 24-7. I just think she was pretty keen on going to the police station. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to nip the calf for a sign. Do you want anything? That's fine. Look, the thing is, CCTV, sometimes it tells you nothing. What? It all depends on how much money you throw at it. If it's that pound shop stuff, then all you're going to see is blurred shapes. I can feel the positivity in the room. I'm just saying, don't get your ropes up, that's all. But I want to know who stabbed me. Yeah, so do I. Look, if Max carried a knife into the club and it's been caught on camera, then his whole alibi gets blown up. Just don't get ahead of yourself. If you don't want to take me, just say. No. Don't be silly. <clears throat> like, I know you don't like being around police, Billy. But it's all good, right? <clears throat> You've done nothing wrong this time. Hmm? Hey, 
Um, come here. You know the way a woman's mind works, right? <laughs> One way to start a conversation. Yeah, uh, I'm just about to go see my dad at the hospital and um, all I can think about is Mayor. How's Jacob doing? Have you heard from him? How's sunny Portugal? <laughs> well, I don't think he wants to talk to me either. Well, I know I messed up again, but I really do need to talk to her. You mean you want to try and talk around? I can't let it end like this. I need... I need closure. Yeah, nick that one from Doug. It's just not fair on Jacob. I'm sorry? Well, you've no idea how close I've become. I mean, yes, fine, punish me, but, but don't hurt Jacob and all. You know, if it's not worked out, David, I, I really think that that's for a good reason. I don't want it to end like this. I, I, I want her to scream at me, shout, throw things. But it's not going to happen, is it? Because she's not here, she's at her mum's. Ah, yeah, well, this is where I think I've got a plan B. And Liam's going to help me out. Liam? Yeah, Liam. He's going to give me a mum's number. What? I know I said that I wouldn't get into No, touch, no, David, but... you didn't just say. You promised for your sake. Yeah, but this isn't just about me anymore, is it? It's about Jacob, and if I don't fix this, he's never going to forgive me. <sighs> I only wanted half, mate. Did you? Oh, of course you did. Sorry. Sorry, my head's all over the place. I haven't stopped for about 30 weeks. No rest for the wicked now, that. No rest for the overworked and underpaid and all that. <laughs> Have you heard from Vic? She must be pretty rough, eh? Huh? Do you know what? I hope she is rough. Really rough. Rougher than a night out in Benidorm. Well, on, you can't say that. I can't say that, cos I'm spending more time here than I do at home. Pretty soon, Jessie's gonna think I'm having an affair. No one will think that, Marlon. Ever. <laughs> so, you and Pete? Everything still rosy in that garden? Yeah, garden's fine. Thank you, Kerry. Working here all day, every day. I can't remember the last time my garden was watered. Oh, speak of the handsome devil. He's almost 20 minutes late. Yeah, sorry, we got bogged down with a load of barbed wire. We? Oh, wow. He's put a track around me. What? Do you guys know each other? The woman that was all over me at the club. That's her. Seriously, I had no clue she was your missus. Listen, I'm not saying there wasn't a woman all over you. I'm just saying it wasn't her. Well, this isn't awkward. I mean, you were probably drunk, right? It's a bit, though, isn't it? See you later. Yeah, probably got it wrong. Hang on. What night did you say it was? Right, he came on to me, and I told him I wasn't interested. Full stop. No, no, not full stop. She kissed me. Kerry, why are you smiling? Because this isn't my life. He's lying. I told him I was with someone. Are you serious? Mate, I'm telling you the truth. She didn't say anything about her boyfriend. Yeah, and who do you think I'm going to believe? This isn't happening. It's fine, OK? It's going to be fine. How? The minute he speaks to her mum and realises she's never been there... Well, we'll find a way, won't we, for him not to call her? And how are we going to do that? Say, oh, sorry, David, can you actually not call her mum? Because we've been very bad girls. Maybe we'll make it so he's not interested in her anymore. Maybe... Because he's interested in someone else. You're not serious. He thinks me and him snogging is the whole reason his girlfriend's disappeared. Well, there's always you. Stupid Priya. Hang on, what's that? What? Upstairs, there's someone in the house. Well, it's not her, right? It can't be. Whoever's up there, we've called the police, all right? I get it, she's your girlfriend and you're gonna believe her, but I swear, I'm not lying. Why are you doing this? I'm not doing anything. Please just tell him the truth. But she's already told me the truth. Maybe she was drunk. She doesn't remember what happened. Oh, so you only went after her because she was drunk? No. Do you realise what that makes That's you? That's not how it was. Then I should put you through that window, mate. Hey. Yeah, don't do that, because windows are expensive. You're done. You sacked. What? Mate, this is so messed up. I haven't done anything wrong, I swear. Well, get out. You heard him come. <laughs> 
Well, go on then. Babe, that was an Oscar winning performance, that. Don't worry. It's exactly how I would have played it. It's only a lie if they find out. Listen, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. You still don't. I'm sorry, Pete. There's something I need to tell you about that night. OK, so this is about the tenth message I've left you, Billy, and I'm just going to ask you the same question. Where are you? All right, I was meant to be at the police station in the next half hour. If you didn't want to take me, why don't you just say? All right, just... Just call me back, all right? If you can be bothered. Bad time. For what? I was just passing, thought I'd check on you, see how you're doing. Is there any update yet? Anyone been arrested? Actually, mate, could you do me a massive favour? It depends what this massive favour is, doesn't it? I need to lift to the police station. They've got some CCTV and Billy's decided to go AWOL. Yeah, come on. All right, you can let go now. I thought you were still in Portugal. I was. Now I'm here. Why didn't you tell me you were coming home early? Did your dad know? I wanted it to be a surprise. What? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Layla, don't. Oh, no. No, what? What has been doing to you? I don't know what you're talking it's about. It's not your fault, OK? Can I? I promise it's not going to happen anymore. OK, she's not going to... She's not going to hurt you anymore. OK? There you go. Thanks very Thanks. much. Bye. Hey, how's the walking wounded? Hey, yeah, walking, slightly less wounded. He'll be back at work very soon. Uh, roughly translated as she doesn't want me moping around the house much longer. <laughs> That's what Marlon's hoping to hear from Victoria. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's a habit I've got overhearing conversations. Comes with being a headmistress. <laughs> you haven't heard much from Victoria, have you? Mm, no, not really. Marlon's covering her shifts. Not that he likes to talk about it too much. Mm. You know, you should go round there, check that she's OK. Yeah, I did. She's, um... I don't know, I think she's just got a few things going on right now. Well, you've got a few things going on right now. It's fine. I'm fine. What actually happened? What did she say to you? <sighs> Nothing, no. I went there long enough. I know what I'm not wanted. Seriously, it's no big deal. <laughs> Is your phone not working? Are you following me or something? No, Aaron was taking me to the police station. He must have forgot. Oh, sorry. I meant, I meant to tell you. Tell me what? Where are you going, Billy? Victoria! Open the door, I know you're in there. Like, whatever's going on with you, you and Matty are supposed to be mates. You can't just shut them out. I'm not well, OK? No, it's not OK. Matty isn't exactly well either, but he said when he tried to be there for you, you didn't want to know. It wasn't like that. Well, we can either do this here or I can come inside, but either way, I'm not leaving until I've said my piece. A dog. That's what you should be thinking about. Mm, a dog's a big responsibility. Doberman Pinscher, Rottweiler, German Shepherd. Don't think pet, think deterrent. Bite worse than their bark. Harriet. Oh, well, thanks for your advice, Doug. Could you excuse us a minute? Oh. 
That's not a face that looks like it's going to give good news. Sorry, there have been no reported sightings, no activity on his phone or bank cards. He can't just disappear. Well, as soon as he comes up for air. You don't think he's getting any help off anyone? Well, if he is, there's no intel to suggest that he's not been acting alone. The question is, would you tell us if he got in contact with you? What? You can't ask her that. It's not fair. No, it's OK. I don't know. He'd be sent straight back to prison if I did, wouldn't he? Look, well, thanks, sir. Uh, thanks for keeping us informed. Right. See you. Can't believe I got my hopes up. I'm sorry. I hate what he's doing to you, but knowing I'd send him back to prison. Yeah, honestly, it's OK. But if I were him, by now, I'd probably realise the damage I'd done and the hurt I'd caused you. And I reckon part of me might actually regret it. You think? If you love someone once, that love has still got to be there somewhere, hasn't it? No matter how twisted it gets over time. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he just disappears again. Everything crossed. Honestly, everything's going to be OK. I've got you back. <laughs> it's no big deal. I just need to get away for a few days until everything settles down. Why? You know why? I bring trouble. Everything going on, all the stress at home. It's best if I'm not around. This isn't on you. I screwed up the deal, me. That's why everything got messed up. No. It's not your fault. Any of it. You've got nothing to worry about. Seriously, I mean, if the CCTV showed anything, then Max would already be banged up, wouldn't he? That's not gonna stop him digging, though, is it? It's still a clown running around with a knife. Yeah, but if the CCTV shows he did it, great. If it doesn't, then I'll listen to you. Right, I'll move on. OK, we can all move on. I know what feeling ill looks like, Vix, and this isn't that. I know I jumped in with two feet, but I can tell when Matty's upset. Or when someone's upset him. Tell him that I'm sorry. Yeah, well. But I'm starting to think I should be more worried about you. I'm fine. Nobody likes to hear that talking helps. Please, my Sometimes it does. It really does. I am ill with the flu. No. No, this is something else. Victoria, if something has happened, you can tell me. You can tell me anything. It goes no further. I'm sorry I had to tell him I couldn't pretend like everything was just normal. But you say too much about me and what happened that night. No, I won't either. All I care about right now is Jacob. Are you sure you don't want us to talk to him too? No, it's... I'm his mum, I should do that. Jacob. I know that your head must be spinning right now. But you haven't got any need to be embarrassed. You didn't do anything wrong. And I promise you, she's never going to hurt you again. Hurt me? She never... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have seen that something were up. You don't know anything about it. Us. Us? So what? You think you can stop us seeing each other? Jacob, that woman was a monster. Was? I know this... It, it might be hard for you to understand. You're not listening to me. She never harmed me. Jacob, she groomed you. What are you on about? Grooming? That's what dirty old men do to little girls. Jacob... I know what I'm doing. We both do. Jacob, sit back down, cos we have to talk about this. Stop talking to me like I'm some kid. You are a little kid, that's the point. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have said that. This is why we never told anyone. Because we knew how you'd all kick off. Jacob, she is a 30-something-year-old woman. She's your teacher and she's your dad's girlfriend. How can you not know that that is sick? Are you seriously talking to me about relationships? You! My mum! Jacob! 
cliche. I'm, I'm just trying to get you to understand what it is that she's done. She's done nothing wrong. No. Unlike you. Jacob, she's tried to make you think that she hasn't done anything wrong. You can't stop me seeing her, whatever you try doing. I can and I already have. She's dead. I killed her. Oh, come on, this is stupid! You need to get to the police station before it's too late. Look, I shouldn't have got involved, I get it, all right? But nothing's gonna get sorted if you walk. I'm sorry. What are you running away from, Billy? You don't have to run from anything. Look, I know you were just looking out for me, Billy. No, I was looking out for myself. Like always, looking out for myself. What do you mean? That night, it wasn't meant to go the way it did. What have you done? I just wasn't thinking straight. If I could go back and change what happened... What are you trying to tell me, Billy? Everything. It all went crazy. That's why you didn't want to take me to the police station. Why, are you trying to shut me down? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. No, 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 just start talking. All right, I want to know everything that happened that night. Preparing to put on their dancing shoes and bear all for a good cause. The all-new Monty is tonight at nine. And if you want more drama, catch up with last night's Victoria and the Regal series so far on ITV Hub. Next, though, we head to Coronation Street.